Here's an old friend of ours. Best name on the canal, Sally Slap Cabbage. There we go. We sold her two years ago. She's probably looking better now than, than she did then. She's a lovely boat. She's a 50-foot cruiser stern narrow boat built by Colcraft and fitted out by Cape Boats in 1996. She'd just been blacked June 2020. The paintwork is in fabulous condition. There's a great stern there, six and a half feet long. We'll come back to that. Really, really good condition, this boat, inside and out. That, that name is great. People get you talking. And those windows, they're a bit of a feature of Cape Boats. They're cinema windows, panoramic windows, and from inside it adds so much light, and it's brilliant. Lovely bows. The well deck's three feet ten inches long. Storage lockers and seats either side. The gas is in here. I'm going to show the locker. Oh, show the signet as well. Morning signet. Squeaky clean in there. Front doors are glazed, and there's glass bulkheads as well on the front of this boat so the, the boat's so light it's it's lovely in we go she fitted out an oak face ply sofa bed there it's a small sofa bed but it's two seater and a cozy double radiator i'll talk about the central heat in a bit and this is the panoramic window one of those on this side television there that's a tv dvd combo Storage under this front step, and there's the view into the well deck. The stereo's here, that's a Panasonic CD radio that puts music through the boat and the cupboard underneath. I ought to say, under the carpet in here are the holes for the. There's a couple of demandable tables, double and single. The legs are stored under the gunnels. Oh, there's the family. But there are dining tables with Desmo legs that fit in the saloon. Into the kitchen we go. The saloon, by the way, was nine feet long. The galley's nine feet, eight inches long. And there is so much space in here. There's lots of cupboards. Lots of work surface. A couple of drawers under here. And they're really deep cupboards, actually. You can get a feel for it there. The cookers are Curry's Essentials four burner gas hob. Really nicely clean oven and grill. And this is nice. This is a floor to ceiling cupboard. There's a dressing mirror there. There's a microwave down there. And actually, the grey case at the bottom there holds a satellite dish for the television. Anyway, good storage space in there. And there's a Houdini hatch as well. That adds light and air. And on the starboard side, decent side covered under here. The fridge is in here, that's a Matsui. It's 230 volt, that runs off the inverter. It's got a nice box and the sinks here under the window. It's so light, this boat. And just to the left is a bank of four drawers. I think four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, there we go. And there's a bin underneath. Really lovely room. Lots, lots of room. There's the demantle table, the double one that goes into the saloon if you want it. There's a door that shuts off the front of the boat. And the bathroom is in here on the right. There's a sliding door for privacy there. The sink is ceramic. There's a mirrored cabinet over. The loo itself is a pump out. It's a traveller or Sealand tra traveller dump through. And there's a bath and the shower sits over that. Shower head's new. And that, that tap is brand new actually. I love it. Never thought I'd get excited about a tap, but that one does turn me on a little bit. 
pardon the pun. Right, into the bedroom, storage under. The bed is six feet long, four feet wide. Three good sized drawers underneath. Really lovely room. There's reading lights under this cupboard. Little shelf at the end. And the foot of the bed, this is really unusual, but I love it. There's a wash basin in here. That's ceramic. And at the foot of the bed, a huge wardrobe. You could sleep two people in here standing up. Cupboard area here for bits and pieces or hanging wet clothes. And there's an airing cupboard here. The hot water tank sits under that rack there, so it's a, it's a good warming cupboard. Out onto the stern deck, very good size, six feet six inches long. Very social. There's the bow thruster controls, I didn't mention that. She's got a bow thruster. And the engine's in here, it's a Beta 43. Super clean in here, very quiet engine. That's the hospital silencer you can see on the right of the screen, and batteries are at the top of the screen. I think I mentioned the engine was last serviced in June of this year, 2020. She's in lovely condition, this boat. Really, really well looked after. The batteries were new. There's three domestics. They were new in October 2019. The bow thruster battery was new in October 2019. All the lighting on the boat is LED. And the head height on the boat is 6 foot 4. Central heating. Ebersbacher diesel fired central heating system and the hot water is heated by the engine or the Ebersbacher, the, the central heating. She's got a two and a half, oh, two kilowatt rather inverter on her for 230 volts. So she's pretty much ready to go. Not a lot to do her to at all. She's got all the navig navigation equipment. And I love this boat. Nice to see her back. Sally Slap coverage. For further photographs of fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugboats.co.uk.